When Governor Brown announced a two-week freeze ahead of Thanksgiving, testing providers tell us they weren't sure what to expect, but now it is very clear. There has been an unmatched rush of people wanting to find out if they'll test positive or negative. The KEZI 9 News reporter Jacob Roberts breaks down what you should know if you plan to get tested. This week has been really busy. <laughs> Stephanie Rhodes says there's two big reasons for the uptick in people wanting tests. Employers are asking workers to get tested after possible exposures and people are gearing up for holiday travel. I think it's inevitable that people are going to get together. We have had our highest volumes this week that we've had since the beginning. That's around 700 tests a day in Lane County, around half of them right here at this drive through testing site at Autzen Stadium. It's first come first serve, so prepare Prepare to wait a few hours. Nova clinics in Lane, Lynn, and Douglas County also offer testing. Show up in person or call ahead, especially if you have symptoms, and a professional will decide whether you need a test. You'll be put on a list and eventually receive a rapid antigen test first with results in just minutes. If you have symptoms or have been exposed, you'll likely receive a second, more accurate PCR test, which can take days for results. It'd make a big difference if you got tested, just to know just to know to avoid larger groups. If you time it right, you can get an appointment, test, and results all in the same day. But a negative test is not a free pass on COVID precautions. Rhodes said the tests aren't 100% reliable, and you may not have days to wait around for results. And what about those new at-home testing kits? Rhodes says probably not. Making sure that you come in and are tested by somebody that's trained to be able to swab is the best option at this point. In Eugene, Jacob Roberts, KEZI, 9 News.